Favorite drug-related story? Oh man, do I have lots of those. First time being starstruck. I don't remember the first time, but I remember a time that might have been the first time uh, David Bowie came and saw us backstage. And, uh, you know, he had a pretty intimidating presence. Favorite place to go on vacation? I like scuba diving, so the water. First instrument you bought for yourself? My white Strat that I have. It was the first one I bought with money that I'd made from working at a record store. It's actually right over there. I'm looking right at it. Favorite hangover cure? Don't drink. And here we go. Favorite drug trip? Uh, the first time I took acid, even though I know that's probably not what it was meant there. But the first time I took acid was pretty, pretty amazing. First time you realized you were good at what you do? Just recently, kind of like a year ago maybe, I was like, I started to realize that I was that I had, a, I had the ability and I should accept it so that I could get better. I think a lot of times you want to deny something you're good at because you don't want to get lazy with it or just or maybe be wrong, you're just afraid of it. I don't know, I haven't really thought that deeply into it, but recently I was like, you know what, I am good. Favorite story from seeing a band live. Julian and I saw Cheap Trick at Roseland and we were in the front row. We were like getting into it and dancing and this guy in the front row kept on like pushing me and saying, we're in the front row, stop dancing, which was very confusing. Because, you know, Cheap Trick's like a band, the crowd moves, you know, if you're going to be in the front row, it's going to move, like literally the front row, like the barricade. So Julian switched positions with me, so I, I could get a break. And then the guy at the end swung, swung at Julian, funny enough. Favorite place to watch a band? Front row. The bummer is I can't really do it anymore. I got to watch from the side usually. It always sucks. It's funny that the more you know a band, the the worst place you get to see them from, <laughs> you know? Because the best place is just like right there in the thick of it with everyone. You know, you're just like, it's so loud. Everyone's moving with you. I mean, you know, like once you're like far off and there's no impact with the crowd, you just, you need that energy from being like stuck with people. Uh, favorite sensation? Uh, probably coming 